So guys, it's uh, July 14th, 2017. Um, I've did quite a few stuff um, for the garden um, during this week, so I'm gonna show them to you in this update. Um, first off, I moved the rosemary and lavender from this, um, this shelf thing over here hang them up so they can get more sun as you can see the lavender is growing very well and I think the rosemary is doing pretty well too and then I have the succulents over here um, you can recognize this uh, ceramic pot um, it was originally from one of the orchids indoor and um, because the sun is um, super intense in the afternoon and that kind of warms up the window I, and I don't think that's good for um, the orchids by the windows that's why I moved them onto the IKEA moving um, cart thing and you'll see that in a bit and then this succulent over here is gonna flower very excited to see what the flower looks like um, yeah, this plant has been with, with me for at least two years, I think, so I think it's probably time for it to do, do this. Pretty cool. And then I repotted the peony in this one. Um, we'll see how it recovers. The Venus flytrap is growing a lot. Right there, there's a new plant, and this is doing well too. And I divided the uh, what is this? The clover um, into two two halves. One of them I planted in this ceramic pot. The other one is still in the plastic one. Um, hopefully, that's gonna um, they're gonna grow more. Um, and I moved this one down here. This one is doing fine. Um, and then I put all the artichokes over here. Uh, the catnips are still flowering. Um, been getting a lot of bees around. Um, so that's good. Yeah, a lot of uh, catnip flowers. And then I also planted some new uh, stuff. This one I planted um, California pop poppy uh what else baby blue eyes um crimson clover and then the other one i forgot the name but these this is the wildflower mix kind of i want to attract more bees that one is the lacy facilia this is definitely going to attract a lot of bees as well as hummingbirds and then this one is the cypress vine um, as you can see in the center, I have this empty um, pot because after the cypress vine um, germinated, I'm going to put it over here because cypress vine like climbs nets too. So I'm gonna put this into that empty pot in the center of that one. Yeah, so you get the idea. And then this one is doing very well, as you can see. The vine is climbing the net. Um, I hope it can go horizontal, but I don't think it, it likes that a lot. Plants like to do um, vertical grow, grow. And then over here, I moved the potatoes um, over here to A, um, just to kind of clean up the space. And they're doing pretty well. Oh, and then I, I would show you what it looks like when I pulled the, the pot up. I actually did it like last week. It looks pretty cool. So this is what it looks like when I pulled it up. Can't really see any potato. Mostly it's just roots around the pot. Um, I'll try to find a potato if I can see one and show it to you. Yeah, I don't see any probably deep in the pot 
But yeah, it's pretty cool. The raspberry is still growing. Um, I really need to harvest the raspberries because um, they've been over ripe. Like this one, it's like definitely ready to to be harvested. Sorry, I'm gonna eat some raspberries. But yeah, the bees have definitely been pollinating the flowers of the raspberry, which is awesome. And as you can see, there's a lot of new vine growth of um, raspberry. There's one over there, another one here, a new vine growth. This one too, and a lot over here too. And they're all gonna flower when they kind of, let me see. I'll give you an example. Like right here, this new vine, you can kind of see the flower buds over there. So yeah, we're gonna continuously getting more um, raspberry fruits as they flower. Oh, there's a lot more over there that I can harvest and eat. It's yummy. Yeah, these fruits are pretty full, so it's good. And then the blueberries is um, has started to mature. You can see right here we have a blue one. That's no, good. Yeah, blueberries has started to mature. You can start to see some blue fruits around the plant. And then the strawberries are doing very well too. This one is doing especially well. A lot of new leaves and then the runners, yes. The runners are coming along. You can see a lot of them are coming out. Right here we have a lot of strawberry flowers too, right there. Hopefully bees would get to these flowers too because I do want some nice uh, strawberries this year. Right there you can see a lot of new growth flower over here. This is actually a good idea to put it on the um, on this thing. So, because like strawberry grows like runners and stuff, and it kind of like hangs, so like it grows downward. And then right here, the poppy is um, still flowering. It's pretty much done flowering, I think. Um, yeah, don't know if the bees are actually pollinating this or not, but, um, yeah, and then this is the seed pod of the, um, poppy, and then we ha here have very small poppy flowers, it's actually pretty cute, like that, very delicate, right here, cute, oops, and then the lily is Definitely flowering. I can smell the flower all the time. It smells really good. Right here, this one is very pretty. Yeah, it smells really good. Kind of want to cut them for indoor, but I can't really find a vase. So that's kind of a problem. And then the Kalili leaves are coming along. Right there. Here's, there's a bunch of new ones. Calilies are coming up. Hopefully we'll see some flowers. Sorry, somebody called me. Ugh, I hate it when people call me when I'm making videos. But anyways, yep, yeah, this is the Calilies. And then here we have the blueberry. Um, yeah, as uh, expected, we're not gonna get like actual blueberries from this blueberry bush. And But then it's like growing a lot still, so. That's good. Um, I want the tree to expand, kind of. And then I move the asparagus from there to here. Um, yeah, this asparagus is healthy. Don't see it. I don't think it's sending out any new um, stems. But yeah, uh, and then I move the, uh, the smaller hydrangea over here. Um, because the sun is a little too intense. Right here, there's a little shade, and I know hydrangea 
hydrangea prefer to um, not be under like full sun um, but yeah you can see some new growth up there there's a lot of new growth around the plants actually so that's good and then the main hydrangea plant is right here a lot of flowers still sending out new flowers um, I kind of want to try to find like a growth that is not flower and then cut it to to um, grow another hydrangea plant like propagation maybe I can find a few but don't know that's another project to work on a potato I show you that that I showed and then the da uh, dahlia as you can see it's coming up really well um, it loves fall sun that's why I move it from there over here so it can get more sun um, I'm not seeing any flowers yet but yeah it's pretty healthy um, and then I also moved the rhubarb over here because I know it enjoys the sun too as for the indoor garden um, um, as you can see I've arranged a bunch of stuff and kind of put some of them in a prettier pot more fitting pot and stuff um, so I'll go through it with you the peacock plant is definitely doing very well it's getting a little too big actually here's an he another huge leaf and then this was the second flower spike thingy um, yeah it's getting a little too big so I might need to find a new place to put this um, and then the smaller peacock plant is doing well too a new leaf just came out and then the orchid over here is doing very well new growth right there which is awesome um, and then I put this and this orchid in a different pot as you can see right here and then um, I'm trying to propagate some succulents I picked up from the street because it looks pretty and then the Hoya plant is doing very well a lot of new growth I love the pink leaves um, pink leaves are usually the um, new growth um, yeah it's a healthy plant soil is still moist so that's good um, this orchid is doing well too I actually helped it by kind of using a box cutter to cut off the the, the shell of the leaf so I hopefully this one is gonna survive and then right here this lady slippers orchid I move it to a different pot this one um, and then I also move it onto these, uh, this cart so it doesn't get too much sun as well as this one put it over here I think that should be better for them so they won't get sunburned and I put this orchid over here too this one and then you can see the flowers are getting bigger it's gonna smell so good I love these flowers and I'm thinking of uh, dividing this orchid too maybe in the next few weeks I'm gonna divide this one and then this orchid over here is doing well the new growth is right there um, and then right here and also I decided to propagate a different snake plant since we have um, this type already this one and we have I uh, have another one over here already so we have like three total of these three pots so we only have one pot of these so I wanted to propagate that basically I just cut the this leaf over here I cut it and then I split it in half and then kind of let it dry for a little bit or curing and then after that I'm gonna put it into one of these bag with a wet paper towel and let it root and this orchid here this leaf is really taking off I cut off the older flower spike because it, it has turned completely yellow um, yeah and then what else the uh, staghorn fern um, I divided the plants um, this week and I had that video up already I've divided into this one um, th I'm not sure if this one is gonna survive the leaf is a little um, soft so it's losing water um, hopefully it's gonna recover 
soon, but I don't know. And then the string of pearls is doing very well. It's getting a lot longer, as you can see. Succulents, I move all the succulents by the window, so that's more appropriate for the season. Right here too, succulents, succulents. Uh, and then the pine tree, I move it closer to the window too because I know they're fine with the direct sunlight. Um, wait, snake plants, not spider plants, sorry. Those are uh, spi uh, snake plants, the one I'm propagating. Spider plants is this one. It's doing very well too. And the fern. 